What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Little's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a couple of stories for you. The first one is there's still amazing deals going on with Black Friday stuff. So if you're a Samsung fan like you probably are when you visit my channel, those deals are still going on right now with the S23 Fan Edition, with the Galaxy S23 phones, the Plus, the regular, the Ultra, the Z Fold 5 is like up to $1,200, $1,300 off or something like that. The Tab S9, the, the Frame TVs, and so much more. Everything is linked down below if you wanna take advantage of those deals. Obviously, they're limited time, so if you wanna act, you wanna act right now. The other one is Anchor. I love the Soundcore headphones. They're great headphones in general in terms of the over-the-air earbuds and then the uh, regular earbuds that you would have, or regular over-the-air headphones, I should say, and then regular earbuds. They are awesome. Some of the best that you can get, especially for the budget prices that they come out at, and then Black Friday adds additional discounts. Those are also linked down below, so check out the Anchor stuff. Big, big fan of that stuff. Um, their chargers are amazing, and so are their earphones as well. Uh, without further ado, let's get into the story of the day though, and that has to do with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. We're getting closer looks at the front of the display, at least in render form, with the bezels. Now the bezels, for instance, on the S22 Ultra versus the S24 Ultra, S24 Ultra looks freaking nice, like really nice. And it's got uniform bezels all the way around. They might be a little thicker on the sides versus the S22 Ultra, but ultimately it's still smaller because in the top it's, it's skinnier and then you get the uniform look to it. And I'm a big fan of it. I'm really super looking forward to this phone. And really it has to do with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, that huge power uh, performance, but then the consumption is really not that bad at all in terms of just sipping at the battery life. And then you got the updated cameras, which are gonna add in AI features as well, which I'm so excited for. I love AI stuff and seeing what Samsung's gonna do with it and improve the phone and make it work better for me overall, I'm all into that. But then we also, have the flat display on that new S24 Ultra. This has a slight curve on the S23 Ultra, but generally this is the best Samsung puts out every year and we're literally two months away from that happening. So it's pretty sweet. What do you guys think of the look of the S24 Ultra? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.